TV. Well, we didn't choose Davao. No, it just so happened that Davao was the place. The purpose of this visit is to raise awareness among the public to use our talent to benefit others. Sample College and we're gonna start our performance soon. Check it out. With the help of our talent, we hope that we could first make them enjoy themselves through our performance and secondly is more so to inspire and motivate them to help them achieve their goals in their lives. Ellen. Give Ellen a round of applause, man. Come on, give it a round of Try and get everything into one to make this an entertaining spot. Alright, come on, jump, come on, jump. Now we are in Davao Central High School. I hope the kids will enjoy. Check it out. What we are trying to do with these kids is actually to uh, do some character building. No. You know why? Because I bring the weight of the ball down. So when you do, you don't do this. <laughs> ball, this. So you must bend down. Bring you. Ah. Okay. But first thing you have to put up here, balance. Two. Okay. Don't move up. Number three. Up. up. We can see that they are really happy and delighted with it. That's the most important thing that we can give it back to them. When we see the kids happy, we are definitely happy. It's 7.30 in the morning and uh, we're heading to Kapatangan, where um, there's a school which is all the un underprivileged kids, so I'm quite glad we're going there today. I put two in there, yeah? 30. Okay, 30 I put there. Yeah? <laughs> uh, we are just at the supermarket buying some candies for the kids at Kapatangan Elementary School. The experience in, at Kapatangan, one of the schools there, seeing these kids there, it's kind of sad, you know. You know, we start we start to compare what we have and what these kids do. People living there are just like natives. You know, they have their own hut, uh, their own farm, and their life evolves around that whole place. Let, let me start off with the journey. The starting point of the hill all the way up to the mountain was probably about an hour to an hour and a half. No, make it two hours. And uh, halfway through, the driver actually mentioned that these kids they actually walk school every day yeah they walk they just walk and they they walk up early in the morning 5 a.m. walk to the school about one hour and late in the afternoon after classes first of all the journey to Kapatangan it's a very adventurous one from our journey up to Kapatangan you can see that the terrain is full of rocks and it's it's really not that safe to walk on such a narrow uh, one-way road whereby there's uh, heavy vehicles travelling in and out of the path. So throughout the journey, the vehicle stopped for at least three times. So we decided to walk up and uh, taste what it's like walking up. As you can hear, I'm really panting. Um, it's not easy, man. To do this every day just to go to school. The school was uh, located in a rural village. The, the whole construction of the school was not as advanced as what you can see in the city schools such as St. Paul's and the Davao Central High School. Uh, it's 10.47 and it has been a long day for us. We woke up at 4.30 a.m. and finally we have reached the school and we are really excited for the, for the performance. The thing that you are seeing right now is a public school, a typical 
public school here in the Philippines. Although this is located on the higher ground here in Mindanao, it's called Kapatagan. But there are a lot of uh, kids here who wants to go to school. They want to learn more. They want to learn how to read, to write, and even to communicate properly. When we were there, we were warmly uh, appreciated, greeted by these kids. You, know, you can see everyone running out from the classrooms, running towards you with that smile on their face. You know, to see someone new, um, have no clue whatsoever what we are doing. And, but you know, they look at us, we smile at them, they smile at us, and um, that, that, that connection comes straight away. Where we know they know that we are here to do something for them. And the kids, what I noticed, some of them are not even wearing shoes. And some of them are wearing school uniform and some of them have their own home clothes. Unexpectedly, we actually found out that they only have four balls and um, three of them were actually punctured. And uh, the least we could do was actually to uh, give that ball away to the school as a gift, you know, something for the school which the kids can actually use. If you have a goal, just work towards where you want to be. And I'm sure every one of you will be successful one day in the Philippines. Thank you. When we perform, we can see that the kids really enjoy themselves and that's the main thing that we want to bring to them, joy. We could see from their eyes, from their face, you know, the interest that they have, the concentration that they have when they look at us. When Terry is doing his, his stuff there, I'm, I'm just looking at the kids' faces and how happy they were. I you know, like they never see such, such a thing before. For us, it's not just of the sport itself. Uh, with fit, football freestyle, we try to inculcate certain values to it, such as like determination, perseverance, hard work, focus. We hope that you know, we did talk to them, so we hope you know, with this performance and what we are doing there, just give them a glimpse of light, you know, just a small glimpse of light to see that you know, there is a way in life. You know. um, we want to show them that you can succeed um, in life with what you want to do, with what you can do, with what you have. I hope we can motivate and inspire the kids through our performance. With the right attitude, focus, determination and hard work, I'm sure they will be able to reach their goals someday in their lives. The teacher said that they are never so attentive in class uh, compared to today. But they're all practical kids where, and, and talented in a way. They do sports, they like all kinds of sports. We saw a six-year-old kid, he just did a back flip in front of us. And I'm 26 and I can't even do something like that. We actually bought some stuff uh, like sweets, biscuits for the whole school and there, be a, there was about 300 to 350 of, of them. So we went class by class, we distributed all the stuff and um, just that one small thing that we, we, we give them, we bought for them. They are so thankful, they are so grateful and you can see the, how they appreciate the whole thing. We ran around with the kids, play football for a bit, uh, and they were just so happy. You know, the smile on their faces, it's money can buy that, definitely. It's just crazy and fun with these kids, you know, bring. But just doing simple things like this, just bringing joy to themselves. So, yeah, bringing joy to them. It helps the pupils of Rizal Central Elementary School for the discipline and entertainment also with their classmates. If there's something in you which makes you happy, I think you have to follow that. And that's the most important thing in life, which these kids should see. And uh, we hope that they can see after what we did. I think for uh, everyone out there, um, if you think, if you just think that there's something that you can do, don't just think. You have to do it. And you'll find out if you're going the right way or not. If you can do it, you can. If you can't, at least you try. My, my trip to Davao is really a heartwarming experience because I really enjoy 
performing in front of these kids and giving back to society. I uh, hope to be able to outreach to more kids in future. There are still many children out there who are in need of inspiration and motivation. I hope that together we can actually make a difference and pay it forward.